And welcome back, everyone, to the final set here for Group G of the FX Open Invitational Series. I am Unstable, joined here by Rail Coon. We are going to go straight into it. It's going to be Symbol versus Lowly, a rematch of Set 1, where uh, Symbol was able to take a close 2-1 win. We are going to jump into it on Cloud Kingdom. Of course, we have Lowly up here at the top right-hand corner as our Yellow Zerg going for uh, pool first uh, opening. And, of course, we have Symbol down here at the bottom left as our Red Zerg. And it is going to be a hatch first into pool with gas here. So, very similar to the recent uh, games we see from both these players. Yeah, um, the first series we saw a lot of early pools trying to punish hatches. Mm -hmm. um, but we did have normal hatch timing here from Lowly. I mean, we even saw some really crazy stuff like 12 pool, over pool, 8 pool. Mm -hmm. uh, just really, really strange pool timings in their first... Uh, set of matches mm -hmm. so uh, not seeing any of that this time around and but the first four zerglings are going to pop out here and apply some pressure to symbol should be able to find it without any issues though yeah exactly we do see the four zerglings running up the ramp now at least he's going to see the pool and the gas timings here for symbol uh he's also going to take his third his own hatchery down here pretty much instantly as well but he will be behind on the hatchery timings here a little bit. He's also ahead on link speed. It depends if he wants to put some aggression on there or not. Double Queen coming out here for Symbol, though. He's going to be about 50 seconds, in-game seconds, behind in that link speed. So it's probably not going to be anything different. However, Lowly going for the, the much safer opening. Lowly is following this up with more Zerglings, though. Um, so this could catch Symbol a little bit off guard. Mm -hmm. uh, it does have a spine crawler on the way. Uh, but Zergling speed could try and run straight past that spine crawler, get up in the main, and take down a queen or something. Uh, we'll see what he does. That's also why he withdrew immediately, made sure he didn't lose any of those initial Zerglings, which is really important for these kinds of strategies. But Symbol is going for a defensive Baneling Nest here. Uh, but Zergling Speed is just about to finish, so he should be able to get in here before that Baneling Nest is done. Question is, will he be able to block him before he can get up the ramp? Does see the Zergling Speed is done now. Um, probably shouldn't have shown this for the first four Zerglings, because now Symbol is going to block the ramp. I feel like if all the Zerg those, those Zerglings came at the same time, he might have been able to get up, but since he didn't show his hand, mm -hmm. uh, it didn't work out for him. No, it didn't. Uh, not at all. But we do have a Baneling Nest coming out now for uh, Symbols. He's completely safe against any more aggression. He's got that Spine Crawler up. And we saw this on... The, I, I'm pretty sure, if my memory serves correctly, we saw this same type of situation where Lowly got ahead, but then he just kept throwing units at it in a really bad situation and ended up losing the game because of it. Uh, but anyway, we'll see if he can change that up this time. Wing speed's now finished for Symbol. He's going to come out to the Watchtower, uh, force those Zerglings back. And he's going to have defensive Banelings as well. So he's going to be completely safe against any kind of aggression. Yeah, and now Lowly is kind of in a difficult spot because he's being forced to make more Zerglings. He doesn't have a Baneling Nest. He doesn't have uh, a Spine Crawler. It's, it's now on the way. But, I mean, right now he wants to be droning up. But because of the fact that he's aware of his opponent has Banelings, he has to back off, make more Zerglings to defend means there's less drones. Oh, that Baneling hit killed a lot of Zerglings. Now Lowly is in even more trouble and he's making more Zerglings. This is spiraling out of control for him because this entire time Symbol's making drones. Yeah, it definitely is. He's got more Zerglings out now and as you were saying, Symbol with those extra drones is going to take a significant lead in that. 33 to 27, he's got more on the way here at the moment as well. He's going straight into his lair. We do see plus one uh, on the way here for Lowly Zerglings. And that's going to be interesting. Lowly could try and run in with this huge amount of Zerglings that he has and uh, maybe try to pick off, pick off some drones because there's very light defenses. Looks like that's what he is going to do. But don't run into that Baneling. <laughs> oh, that was scary. Uh, is able to back off in time. But he's actually just going to go for a quick third. But that's scouted by the Overlord of Symbol. Uh, so we've got some really good back and forth going. Symbol doing a really go good job of checking around with his Overlord without making it be endangered to the Queens, which is really important. Uh, but Lowly does have control of the center of the map right now, and Symbol is responding by being the first player to make roaches. <laughs> yeah, that's usually how it works. We do see the hatchery, uh, sorry, the lair finishing up now, so uh, I thought it was uh, going to be some spy attack after that, but obviously not. <clears throat> does have that oh one in my chamber at the front. Hmm? Look at the drone count. Um, some drones for Lowly just finished up, but he's he was at 10 over Lowly a second ago. And uh, we'll see how many more he makes once he unsupply blocks himself. That's a little bit of a derp right there while he's trying to drone up. Uh, so it is allowing Lowly to catch up a little bit. But, uh, you know, this third hatch is going to allow Lowly to catch back up in that worker count as well. But in the meantime, uh, I mean, Lowly's lair is going to finish right when Symbol's infestation kit does. Actually behind it. 
Uh, so he's very behind in tech. There's going to be roaches and investors out by the time he even decides what he's going to use with his high, with his layer tech. That's going to be a really difficult position for Lola here. Yeah, exactly. Alrighty, so we see. <clears throat> uh, oh, I, think I need to cough really badly. Uh, take over for a minute. <laughs> All right. So we have a second evolution chamber on the way for Loli. So he's going to try and go for those double upgrades. Uh, Lair is almost done, but he has not actually dropped an infestation pit yet, and has two more extractors on the way. So he could actually be going for Lemuras, and that could work out not so great for him by the fact that, well, there's already investors on the way. Uh, pathogen glands has started. Don't see any investors in that production tab just yet, but they'll be appearing soon. Uh, there's a good number of roaches starting to appear on the field as well, and Symbol's third base is on the way as well. He is going to take out this spine crawler. Maybe there it goes. Uh, just a few more hits, and he would have taken out that Zergling, but the roaches are, are now out to protect it. Mm -hmm. uh, we do see Loli actually going straight for Infestors. No Spire, no Roach Warren, layer into Infestor. That is... Very uh, we interesting. Saw him do... Yeah, we saw him do this against Terran, but I mean, this is Zerg versus Zerg. That's kind of a risky play. I I've seen other Zergs try to do it, but they very rarely get away with doing this. Mm -hmm. Well, we do see more Zerglings coming into the third base here. There's only two Roaches. They do have speed, of course, going to be able to run into the mineral line. We've got more reinforcements coming through as well. Workers lost here. Uh, sorry, workers killed only three during that engagement for a second. Uh, and Symbol does have the Investor count here. He's going to have six more than his opponent. Uh, especially with those Roaches, he will be able to deal with this Ling Infestor army of Lowlies quite nicely. Yeah, this isn't going to work out very well because he already has the plus one on the Roaches. And... With the plus one, even with the armor upgrade, the roaches to hit the zerglings. And it's a really big difference, and it, you know, just makes this unit composition a little bit difficult to work out for him. Uh, and the zerglings are very mobile, and it will keep Symbol on the back foot. Uh, but normally you want to try and beat that plus one upgrade if you're going to do this kind of thing, and he just wasn't able to do it. So instead, he is going to back off, drop the fourth hatchery, and go straight into Hive. So he's counting on the fact that he can keep Symbol defensive with these Zerglings to sneak up to Hive Tech really quick. This is pretty risky, but if he can get away with it, it'll have a nice return. So this is actually a cool little strategy from Symbol, or from Lowly, but it is very risky. Yeah, it definitely is. At the same time, <clears throat> we got more spine, another spine crawler going down here at this third base for the Investor count, looking at 6 to 5. Uh, but there's 20 roaches compared to 63 zerglings, and they might actually get caught by these infestors. That'd oh. be huge if he does. Does catch quite a number of them. All the infestors of Lowly can get caught as well. A few of them going down to the roaches, oh. but all of the zerglings get bundled. Oh my god. Yeah, and now these roaches are going to take a significant supply leap. 140 to 117. Lots of infestors and uh, zerglings being rebuilt uh, now by Lowly. Here's one base up, remember here, Relkin. We do... Does... Simple does see it. Of course, he sees there's a, the drones going to work here, but there's so many roaches. I don't think Simple uh, Lowly really has any answer to these roaches coming up into his natural right now, like at a lot all. Of them are really low health. He doesn't have Burrow to heal them up, and the investors are low in energy, so he may be able to defend this. Maybe. Well, but plus two just finished up uh, for him as well. He's in a nice position uh, against a lot of these zerglings. They are being taken out quite quickly. There's another fungal as well. Yeah, it looks like he should be able to hold this, but he's taking some heavy losses, and uh, the drones all had to leave the uh, mining here while this is going on. But, I mean, look at the production tab. 20 more roaches on the way compared to just the zerglings being reproduced by Loli. That's a better equation for Symbol. So as the next wave comes in, he might have be able to just kill the fourth base. Yeah, exactly. Here comes the wave of roaches into the third. He's going to just target down this hatchery right here. Going to get queen first, of course, and then move on because the entire army full lowly is occupied at the natural. He's going to go for drones, actually. Nice burrow by lowly here. But look how many more roaches are down at the fourth base for symbol right now. Yeah, I mean, the zerglings are coming in. They do have the one, two upgrades. But, uh, you know, again, these plus two roaches just two hit them. Uh, so you will eventually defend this. 
but he had to stop mining, and now there's another big roach army coming into the natural. Uh, so Symbol is just making tons and tons of roaches. Lowly is barely holding on. He's having to bounce back and forth. Not able to gather enough energy for fungals here because he keeps having to drop these infested terrans. Mm -hmm. And those ones weren't dropped in the best all spot. The now, all the infestors. All the are dead. I think that might be it. Losing all those infestors means that these roaches are just going to steamroll the zerglings. He's trying to get the Ultimus Cavern out, but just too slow. Oh, dancing I roaches. <laughs> He needed to keep the Zerglings alive a little bit longer. He needed to delay Symbol, try and get the Ultras out. But uh, even then, like, Ultras against Roaches can be really difficult. If there's enough well-upgraded Roaches, you just kite them. And yeah, if they're big, they're beefy, but it's difficult. Yeah. If you get a good cut, a few Fungos off on big grouped up uh, Roaches, you can try and get through them with the Ultras. But as you were saying, hiding is much more likely. We see Adrenal Glance finishing up here for the Zerglings, but the upgrades for Symbol are just too much here at the moment. He's even getting plus one armor as well. Uh, he did get that hatchery of both in the natural and the fourth base, and now he's moving up into the third as well. Once he gets this hatchery, we'll probably see a GG and see Symbol go 1-0 in this game. Yeah, slowly just playing it really greedy. I kind of liked the idea. It's just really, really risky, um, and he couldn't get his units caught like he did. I think if he hadn't got his units caught, then Symbol would have had to play a little bit more defensively, and it it would have had a chance at working. Uh, yeah. But he just the positioning wasn't the best. He got caught by the fungal, and that really just turned the tides for him. Yeah, that's exactly what happened here, and he's just lost all the rest of his Zerglings. There's the GG coming out from Lowly. Symbol will take game one in this final set here for Group G. We'll be right back after our two-minute break with our next game.